Hi there, I have supported YouTube since 2008, and while I have enjoyed being a member of the YouTube community these long years, this platform has made it clear that they do not support freedom of speech, diversity of thought, or honest scientific discussion. They have made it obvious that they would rather spend their effort on censoring voices of dissent rather than more pressing issues, such as preventing this platform from enabling totalitarianism and child exploitation. As a result, I am transitioning my content to Odyssey. So if you enjoy and appreciate my content, but are wondering why I do not upload as often as I used to, I would encourage you to follow me to Odyssey where you can find much more of my content on hobby interests and life in general. The link to my Odyssey channel should be in this video's description. Thank you for your understanding and I hope you could join me in helping increase the hobbyist community on Odyssey. guys, this is video two in the Serbine build by Plamax. Oh my gosh. So, all right, first up, Gaia Notes Surfacer Evo. This is Sky Blue Primer. Isn't that nice? Isn't that beautiful? Of course it is. Shut up. All right, let's, let's get started with this. Put my mask on. Looking pretty nice. Very nice. That's cool. Okay, to give the uh, lovely lady a really nice deep shine, I'm going to first do gloss black on her. Nice, nice, nice. Okay, once this is dry, I'm going to color her Gaia Notes 122 Star Bright Gold. Alright, I'm going to paint her with uh, Star Bright Gold. Oh, that's cool.
Nice. Now here's this thing here. Um, this is also, well, not supposed to be gold, but I'm going to paint them gold anyways. Why not? Nice. Alright, for the shield here, I'll be airbrushing Metallic Blue, Mr. Color 76, and send it with Mr. Color Rapid Center. Oh, that's cool. This is Aura Pale Blue. This is my Gaia Notes. This is the Aura Battler Dunbar official paint. I've thinned it with Gaia Notes Thinner. And uh, this is what I've been looking forward to using now. Very, very pale, pale, pale blue color. It's nice. Yes. Hmm. Little speck there. There we Okay, this sword scabbard is going to be bright blue, Mr. Color 65. Clear green, Mr. Color 138 for the chest here.
All right, the next, uh, the internal thing in here is going to be uh, Mr. Color 309 green. Because reasons. For the sword, I'm going to use Mr. Color 8, and I'm putting this on top of glass black here. Okay, so the claws are going to be Tamiya OP11 Silver. semi-glass clear lacquer paint, Tamiya lacquer paint LP24, thinned out with lacquer thinner. Okay. Mr. Color 8 Silver thinned with rapid color uh, ra ra rapid, uh, what's it called? Rapid Thinner. Yeah, Mr. Color Rapid Thinner for the metallic effect. That's great. Alright, got it all masked off. Hopefully it's gonna work fine. Maybe push this down more, I think. It might be better. That would be good. It's gonna have more of a luster than the Tamiya Silver. Go to the other side. Cool. Mr. Hobby Aqueous Metallic Blue H88. I was thinking about using that GX color, but yeah. I don't know, I'm just going to use this uh, this blue here. That looks pretty cool, I think. So, whatever. I'm just going to hand paint this. It's going to just gonna take a whole lot of masking and... Oh, I don't think so. That's just going to take a long time. It might be faster to just go ahead and just hand paint this. I mean, it's like a really textured surface anyways. So brush strokes are going to be negligible, it won't even be net visible, I don't think, anyways, so... And since it's acrylic, I could just easily just dip some, uh, uh, you know, dip a, a cotton bud, cotton swab, in some acrylic thinner. Just wipe away the excess without damaging the, the lacquer underneath it.
So, yeah, it's just, uh, it's gonna be time consuming, but then again, so is masking this and then loading up the airbrush and then peeling off the mask and then only to find out that a bunch of paint had seeped underneath and I'd have to do a bunch of cleanup and blah blah blah. It's just not worth it, I don't think. This is really cool. Now to my eyes this looks kind of purple, but it says metallic blue, so okay. I mean, I, I can't trust my eyes because I'm colorblind. I don't know what I'm talking about. All right. But, yeah. Well, this is going to be pretty cool. I'll have to get in here. These little, and I'll probably use just a fine tipped brush for that stuff. This is coming along just fine. Any excess, I'm able to just use the cotton swab and just wipe it away real quick, right, rather quickly. And uh, to minimize this uh, stick right here, just uh, just uh, rub rub that off. There. Great. Since this is acrylic, it's not gonna start to attack the the paint job underneath it, right? Because the paint job is lacquer. That's why I like to use lacquers predominantly for the, the main body coat color and uh, that was what um, how a lot of people use here in Japan that said I've always wondered why the Gundam colors were always lacquer but now they've begun making the Gundam colors in the uh, acrylic so that's uh that's, that's good for them it's good for kids too it's good for hand painting anything really for that matter but yeah this is a uh, rather easy it's coming along rather nicely and it's a nice uh, sunday evening the weather's really nice outside I think I might put this down after this and go for a jog. Yeah, that might be nice. Especially since it's gonna rain tomorrow. At least tomorrow morning, I don't know about the evening. Yeah, I'm gonna switch to the, switch to this guy here. Get the fine tip. There, that's better. Yeah. I'll put the metallic blue on the, the chest piece. That looks pretty cool, I think. Um, now I'm doing a Mr. Hobby Aqueous H18 steel. Doing the, the thrusters on the back here. This is uh, turning out to be pretty cool. Alright, next I'm going to use 
Dark Iron, Tabia XF84. <sighs> I used some uh, paint retarder here because this is uh, it's a little bit, a little bit thick actually. All right, let's uh, start painting this. It's got to take a little bit more work with this though because there's so many different uh, recessed areas to deal with actually. Uh, it's a bit different than what I was just doing the night before with uh, the metallic blue. Yeah. Yeah, it's got to take a while to get through all of this. To make sure to dab down into all the recessed areas. Next, it's Gold Leaf Tamiya X12 Enamel. Yeah, I'm actually I'm using my Optivisors because <laughs> uh, I'm going to switch back to that, turn off this camera because it's a lot easier to do that when I'm up close with my Optivisors than trying to paint this fine detail up from far away from my face. Alright, the gold detail looks fantastic. Very happy about that. Very, very happy about that. Now, unfortunately... I am a total spaz, as I have said many times before. Um, I even intentionally cut out this part here. There was the the clear parts for the eyes. I can't find them. I don't have them anymore. They are completely gone. I don't know whatever happened to them. I looked in the box. They're not in there. So, moving forward. Uh, in lieu of that... Uh, what I did here is I backfilled it with uh, UV resin and oh, where's that flashlight oh here it is it's behind my cup all right so let's let's do this here on camera then I, I've got these here these are the the wave hi is mini all right I'm probably gonna use these 1.5 millimeter round Thingies. Yeah, look at that. Look at that on the sword. That is so cool. This the sword scabbard. That's cool. I'm yeah, very happy with that. All right, so yeah, unfortunately, I am a spaz. I really need to keep better care of my stuff. I should have put that in like in a plastic bag or something rather. I suck. I really do. All right, let's just uh, dump a bunch of. UV resin and yeah. Come on, squeeze out, you jerk.
Okay. Okay. All right, let's see how this looks. Yeah. Oops, I just knocked the flashlight. All right. This is gonna take a while. But uh, this will, um, this will work here. Okay. Yeah, all right, so I'm gonna set this aside over here. Just let the, let the UV light shine on it for a while. Come on, jerk. Sorry, you can't see this. Son of a motherless goat. There you go. Alright, there we go. Alright, well now, um, what I want to do, again, I want to use these guys here. Alright, so I'm going to have to very, very carefully cut out these parts here. Like here's one right here. All right, leave that there. Now, um, I need my model glue here. This is a Simonine high grade model glue. Very interested if you can find this outside of Japan. Let me know if you can. I'm interested in knowing because this stuff is really fantastic. All right. Uh, let me get a. Oh, here we go. I'll use this. Okay. Put the cap back on. Okay. Now, let me just stick that. Golly, it's like I don't even need the lens, maybe. I can just let this stuff just dry on there. I don't know. Maybe I can. Well, I've already cut it off, though, so... Let's, uh, let's give this a shot, I guess. Is this gonna stick? Here we go. Let's put this into place like so. And then see how it looks. Hey. That's actually kind of not bad, I guess. There we go. I think. <laughs> she has bought. I don't want to use the smaller lens though, because it's a little bit too small. Alright, I guess that works. All right, I'll, I'll do the same for the other side next. Since I got this glue out. Just uh, get plenty of glue, y'all. All right. Uh, go 
through this a little bit more. Okay. Fair. Oh, this is so cool. This is so freaking cool. Look at that. Really, this is like... Oh, after I saw this, I'm like, oh, dude, I need to get this. I mean, it's just so elegant, so classy looking. You hear that? Naked chicks make models better. They really do. Okay. Okay, let's put the face on. Let's put the face on. Oh, shoot, this is paint retarder. <laughs> paint retarder. Wah, wah, wah. There we go. Alright. No, I think that uh, clear part that I lost, unfortunately, was designed to maybe just kind of stabilize this a little bit. I, I don't know. But that's going to go here. Okay. Oh, shoot. Yeah, no. Get a tiny little bit. There we go. Come on. Shit. Could you just not piss me off? Thank you. There we go. There we go. Okay. All right. Let me just barely touch this. All right. There we go. Come on. Get up their ass butt. There we go. There we go. Hmm. I'm gonna clamp this with my fingers, let this dry for a bit before I proceed. Okay. Let's put some Let's see how this fits. Maybe just kind of there we go. There we go. All right, now this. Okay. Oh. 
definitely need to uh, use, use this glue on a clear parts here. Alright. There. Oh, this is getting very beautiful, I think. Nice. All right. Let's go ahead. Put plenty of glue here. There. Put the cap on here. Yeah, this stuff is uh, it's really slow acting, but it's really easy to use. I mean, in terms of like not screwing things up. Nice. Hmm. Okay. Okay. That's great. Hopefully if I put this down, it's not going to mess up the... F yeah, it's going to mess it up. Shoot. Alright. I didn't... I did not foresee that. Because <laughs> so if I put it down, it's going to push up on the, the Kabuto here. Something else I want to take care of here, guys. Um, Alright, this is Tamiya Semi-Gloss black x18 I figured it might be nice to uh, paint these hoses here do it a different color than the other stuff although I think this is going to be kind of hidden I don't know. Hmm. All right, glue this guy here. Okay. Oh, there we go. There we go. Now it says to Do this other part in the back first. Oh, and then this goes like so. I just want to do a dry fit first. All right. uh, okay, that's uh. That's how it works, guys. I see how it goes now. All right. Gosh, could you just not piss me off anymore? Okay, come on. This is just like really kind of particular how it fits, really. Very particular. Perhaps let's do the the super thin to get in there where it can really help fuse these parts. There we go. Okay. 
There we go. Okay. All right. There. Uh, buh, 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 buh. I'll go get your book of all. There we go. Come on already. There. Now, for the wings, I want to attach those thingies that I had painted separately. Yeah. This is trash anyways. I think they're the same. Is nice. Cool. Duh. That's where the scabbard goes. <laughs> <laughs> 